Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how we can renew or recreate the Federation certificate on our exchange server. You may suddenly receive the error that the exchange delegation federation is invalid or certificate is about to expire or it is already expired. So this certificate is already expired. Usually this certificate is a self-signed certificate and it is uh, created automatically when you run the hybrid configuration wizard. This organization is using the hybrid configuration. The exchange delegation federation certificate is very helpful to share the free busy information for the exchange user and therefore it is valid for only five years and sometime admin may forget to keep an eye on this or this certificate may get expired and you see the error so it is good to keep an eye on this if it is not already expired you can just renew it and renewing this is easy than the recreating it because if it is already expired then you have to remove the federation trust federation domain and you have to recreate the things again so it is uh, better to renew it before it get expired but in this scenario we will see how we can fix it if it is already expired let's see the some important steps to renew and replace the federation certificate in exchange so we have to remove the federated domain first then we have to remove the federation trust and then we have to create a new federation certificate and have to configure the fresh certificate as a federation certificate and after that we have to update the text record in our external domain as a federation proof of domain ownership and after that we will verify the new federation certificate on a all exchange server in our case we have only a one exchange server so we will check it on our single server and then we will update the metadata for federation trust finally we will add federated domain i would like to tell you that i'm not shooting this video on the real server because this fix was done on the client server remotely to secure the privacy but still you can fix the issue by watching this video because i am going to share some important screenshots with you so to fix the issue our first step will be to get the information of the existing exchange certificate you can run the commandlet like get exchange certificate and you will see the thumbprint for the existing certificate. In our case, you can see the CN Federation and this is the thumbprint. You can note down this thumbprint as a old Federation certificate or expired certificate. It will be useful to save it on a notepad. So the next step will be if your certificate is not already expired. If still you have a chance like uh, it says your Federation certificate is about to expire. You can simply uh, note down the thumbprint which you have saved on your notepad and you can just uh, type this commandlet. This is the exact commandlet looks like. So once you do this, your exchange Federation certificate will be renewed. But in our case, we have the certificate already expired. So we will move further. We have to get the federated organization identifier. So for that you can just run the commandlet get federated organization identifier and here you will see your domain name or if you have some other subdomains as well you will see all the domains and subdomains here the primary domains and the other subdomain as well. So after getting this we will move to the next step and that is the removal of the federated domains. Once you confirm with the domain name we have to remove the federated domain so for that you can run the remove federated domain the domain name you have to type your domain and then force you can see the command let how it appears once you see here your domain and if you have a subdomain as well make sure that you have to remove the primary domain in the last first you have to remove the subdomains in our case we have only a one domain so you have to run this commandlet remove federated domain and your domain name now the federated domain is removed to make sure you can run the get federated organization identifier once again you will see the blank space there so this shows us that the federated domains are successfully removed so our next step is to remove the federation trust 
and to remove the federation trust you can run this command let remove federation trust microsoft federation gateway so you can just simply run the command you can see the command in action so now the federated domain is removed federation trust is also removed now our next step will be to recreate a new federation self sign certificate so we will create a new self sign certificate for the new federation trust and for that you have to run this command let and you will see once you run this command let the thumbprint will be generated and you can see services right now it is not assigned to a service but the subject is cn federation so once this is created we can move to the next step and the next step is to check the certificate and you can do that by again uh, get exchange certificate and here you can see we have a two federation certificate the 40a uh, this is the old one and 7ad this one is a new one so now our next step will be uh, creating a new federation trust to create a new federation trust we have to run this command let you can run this command let uh, by the new thumbprint so here you have to use the get exchange certificate thumbprint your new thumbprint should be there if you see the command in action you will see this result on your screen so once it is done you can see now it is assigned to the services after doing this the new federation service is assigned to the certificate so now we have to generate the domain proof that is a txt record in order to generate that domain proof you have to run this command let get federated domain proof domain name and your domain xyz or whatever you are using there so once you run this command let you can see the command in action and you will get the this id and the domain name name and the thumbprint and then the proof this is the record like k h j to the like at the last here and dns record it says go to the external dns of your domain and there you have to create a text record make sure that it is propagated properly and then we have to move on to the next step so once the text record is propagated properly we can move to the next step that is creating the federation trust with domain now. so for that we can run this command let set federation organization identifier you can see the command in action here again you will see the account name space there will be your domain and the other domain so we have reassigned our domain to the federation trust and now we can refresh the federation trust metadata and to refresh that we have to run the command let like set federation trust refresh metadata identity microsoft federation gateway you can see the command in action once you do this you can just confirm that the federation certificate has been installed or not so to test the federation certificate you can simply run the command let test federation trust certificate and you will see the result here here you can see the state state you can see the installed and thumbprint this is our new thumbprint this is a good sign if you see this that means your federation certificate has been installed so our next step will be to test the federation trust to test the federation trust if you run the command let simply like test federation trust you may get some errors you can run this command let with the user identity as an administrator and you can see the command in action like uh, it's being processed all the steps are success here if you see everything success 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 here validation success delegation token success if you see that everything is success that means the you have fixed the problem and 100% it will work once it is done now you can remove the old expired federation trust certificate from your exchange and in order to remove it you just uh, need to run this command let like remove exchange certificate thumbprint the expired thumbprint once you do that your old expired exchange federation certificate will be removed and now you can just go and log into your exchange there will be no error and our exchange delegation federation certificate is valid and it's valid for 2030 and if you have the same problem i hope you can fix it now i hope the video was informative let's meet in a next video